Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new things that we've added in CameraBag 2023.2. Uh, these are features both in CameraBag Photo and in CameraBag Pro, but of course, in CameraBag Pro, you can use all of these tools on videos. Um, so let's jump right in. Uh, the main thing that we've added is uh, in the masks section of the adjustments. We've added this gradient mask. So before we had a spot mask, and then you can uh, do things with masking for certain hues, um, etc. With the gradient mask, it's this interactive tool. Let me turn on the preview color. Uh, let's put it on blue for right now. Um, you can see that I can drag around the endpoints of the gradient. Um, I can adjust the minimum amount. Uh, that will basically everything below this this point will be that minimum amount. Um, and I can adjust the max amount. And then this fall off pushes the gradient towards each of those um, each of those ends of the gradient. So between all those, you can get some really nice things. One of the things that this is the gradients are most useful for in photo editing is skies. So let's turn off this uh, preview color and then I'll show you uh, some examples with sky adjustments. So this sky maybe, you know, this sky looks a little too, bright and washed out, um, I can add an exposure node. And if it's to the right of that gradient mask, you, as you can see indicated by this little connector, it'll be affected by that. So when I turn down the exposure, you can see it's only adjusting this, the exposure according to that gradient mask. And I can move this around. You can see how that affects it. Um, and again, I can adjust the fall off and just get it to where it looks nice, and I turn that preview on and off. Um, and skies have natural gradients, so it's it's usually pretty easy to just tweak the fall off until you get it to look like what you want it to look like, and you can, you know, move the bottom of the gradient to the bottom of the sky and um, tweak it to your heart's content. One of the other um, things that you might often do with a gradient mask is something like coloring. So. For example, if we wanted to make the sky bluer, um, we could add in this coloring node uh, adjustment. And you can change the different blend modes. Color filter tends to be a good one for, for getting a nice sky color, especially if you want to make it darker. But you can see how I can change that sky tone to match the water. Maybe it's a little bit greener like this. And if I want to do something like um, have this this one mask affect more than just one adjustment. Say I want it to affect coloring and exposure, then what I could do is um, bring down an exposure adjustment. Now if I adjust this right now, it'll adjust the whole image because this is only linked to the coloring. But what I can do is I can select both of these and nest them. I right clicked and uh, chose nest there and then create that and then that nested tile now those adjustments um, will all be um, affected by that one mask. And so, um, yeah, let's see how I actually would want that to maybe look something like that, and maybe a little bit more saturation or something, and I'll preview. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And so the nice thing about this is that you can, um, you know, save this set of adjustments. Say this is something that you frequently want to do on your skies. Um, you can save this set of adjustments as a preset, um, either uh, using the normal save preset. I'll just use session preset here so it just saves it for this particular session. Then it will be deleted because I don't want to use this later myself. Um, but then, uh, you know, I can come over to my file browser or whatever, pull in another photo and uh, load that same preset and then just, you know, adjust the gradient so that it uh, fits that photo and do whatever tweaks on this particular photo to get it to look like I want. Maybe the color, the tone, I want it a little bit different or something, or I want the... Um, the strength of those two combined adjustments to be less than the full strength. But as you can see, it's a powerful tool to, uh, like I say, particularly on skies, but there are a lot of other uses where this gradient mask um, comes in handy uh, to be able to uh, isolate whatever adjustments you want just to a particular 
um, along a particular gradient in your photo. Now, a couple of other things that I'll show real quick. Um, one is the, let's leave that adjustment on actually. Uh, in the image overlay and the text overlay, um, so let's go to text overlay. We've added a new blend mode. So let me just make this, well, let's leave it like that. Um, so if I go to blend modes, we had erase before. So the erase blend mode is basically, uh, if this is on erase, those are transparent pixels where this text is. And if I save this as a PNG, they'd be transparent. And if you overlaid it over another image, you know, things would show through below it. But we've added sort of the inverse of that, which is opacity mask. So now everything around those words is transparent. And those words only let, you know, the, uh, the image uh, that we have here show through it. So uh, it can be handy for uh, lots of different effects. And then uh, the last thing that I'll show, um, uh, let me see, is the lens flare effect. We've expanded this a little bit. Actually, let me load one that uh, I'd saved to my presets. Um, so with lens flares, um, you know, the color is basically randomized. So if I hit this remix slider, it'll just, you know, do along with the random shapes, it'll do random colors. And sometimes they're all the same hue. And sometimes like with this one, they're, they have different hues. Um, but we added this custom coloring control which uh, it's similar to what we have in the um, the bokeh lights effect uh, where if I drag this over here you can see it's pulling all the the hues of each of those uh, lens flare um, elements towards this whatever hue I select here and so when it's all the way over to black they're each their own hue whatever that may be and then as I pull this, each of those hues will move towards this blue hue and I can pull it up to white to go up to white. So it's just if you have a very particular lens flare effect that you're going for, um, then that can be a, a really neat way to just dial in the exact look that you want. So, um, and then we've got some other workflow and bug things. You can check the release notes, but uh, we think that you'll find this, uh, like I say, this gradient mask in particular to be incredibly useful. You can see there's the image without the mask, there's the image with the mask, there's the image without the adjustments. And uh, there's a lot you can do, do with it. We look forward to seeing what you make and let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you.